we think. As we deal with this extreme heat, the city of Phoenix is testing a pilot project to try and lower temperatures all around town. The city's teaming up with researchers to see if using a different kind of cooling pavement could help make a difference. Team 12's Jen Wall joins us live now from Esteban Park in Phoenix. And Jen, how does this whole thing work? Yeah, good morning to you, Ryan. So this project is just getting started, and this parking lot here at Esteban Park in Phoenix is just one spot that Phoenix will be testing for this cooling pavement technology. Researchers will be studying to see if the pavement could help reduce our valley's heat urban effect. Now, first, an urban heat island is a city area that's warmer than rural areas around it. The city chose parts of eight different neighborhoods and one park to test out cool pavement treatment. Cool pavement is lighter than the darker asphalt we're used to seeing in city of Phoenix. Sent us in some video. Now that darker asphalt soaks in and retains more heat and then releases it at night. At night, the differences in temperatures can be as high as 22 degrees hotter than areas measured outside the heat island. That's according to the EPA. Researchers say cool pavement is different because it reflects the sunlight that hits it and they'll be studying whether it could have an effect on lowering the higher nighttime temperatures in Phoenix. We would like to look at the radiative effect of the pavement. Uh, we will investigate the durability, uh, the life cycles. So you have a certain investment when you when you put these coatings in place, um, monetary investments, and we want to see essentially is it worth doing it? Researchers plan to study temperatures on the cool pavement as well as its sustainability, including the effects of vehicles driving on it and more. The city says the goal of this cooling pavement would be to mitigate issues associated with those higher nighttime temperatures like more energy consumption and greenhouse gas emissions. The city also tells me costs associated with the cooling pavement are around $3.3 million for 36 miles of surface area. I'm told the streets were ready for a pavement update anyway, so they would have been doing some type of work like this anyway. Plus, researchers are expected to be looking into this for the next several years. That's also according to the city. For now, we're live in Phoenix. Jen Wall, Today in AZ.